What's up, everyone? Um, so I'm making this video at one of my favorite places on Earth, a, a South African safari called Mabula. And uh, I came down to South Africa to do some work on uh, something called the Pella Peppa train, also known as the Train of Hope. And as we were driving around the game reserve this morning, I'm on a little bit of a break, so I came to Mabula. And as we were driving around the game reserve this morning, I couldn't help but think about uh, solution-focused brief therapy and uh, and also the, the animals here. So you see in the background, there are a couple of hippos uh, popping out of the water there. And um, as we're driving around, we're being led by this guy, his name is uh, Serrano. And when we come up against animals, he uh, will point to the animal and kind of talk to us about the animal's strengths. Uh, last night we saw lions uh, eating a wildebeest actually and he would point to us and he'd tell us about the lion but I noticed he always tells us about the animal's strength uh, we also saw uh, a cheetah yesterday and he talked to us about the speed of the cheetah and the way the cheetah's body is built but always from the perspective of the animal's assets resources and the strengths of the animal we, we saw hippos and he talked to us about the strengths of the hippos not necessarily the weaknesses and I, and I started thinking about that and how you know, every animal here on the safari has particular strengths that allow them to thrive in this area and the animals conduct themselves in relationship to their strengths. Like, for example, one of the things that hippos don't do well is they don't jump well. Uh, but that's not something that, that Serrano would focus on as he teaches us about hippos. He talks to us about their strengths and, and what they do really well and how they thrive in this environment. And it made me think about our work as psychotherapists. It made me think about the way we use solution-focused brief therapy. It made me think about the work we're doing on the Pella Pepper Train. Uh, when I came down here, we were uh, I came down with <coughs> um, Alicia Courtney and we were um, teaching a team of students how to use solution-focused brief therapy. And, and they actually started off doing their work from a position of, of uh, deficit. So when they see their clients, they first thinking diagnosis first. They think about uh, what the client doesn't do well, how much trauma the client has had, or depression, or anxiety, or whatever. Uh, but that's that's odd to me. I mean, it's just as odd as focusing on the fact that the hippo can't jump. I mean, the hippo isn't as amazing if you focus on its deficits as if you focus on, on their strengths. And it made me think about like the way we do our work. I think we have to work very, very hard to have the mind of an African safari guide and the, the way that they talk about the animals always naturally from a position of strength. And uh, I think that's a lesson we could use in our field as psychotherapists, and I think it's congruent to what we do in solution-focused brief therapy. So when you go into your therapy sessions, start thinking like an African safari guide and remember that your client is um, worthy and amazing when you focus on their strengths because that's actually when they thrive, uh, just like the animals here. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and comment. I love to interact with you guys, and I always appreciate when you share and help me get the word out, and I'll see you in the next video.